So I'm in Canterbury today, which is an old medieval city, technically a city because it has a, a cathedral. This lovely, beautiful beast up here, uh, a really, really gorgeous place. Still got all of the old medieval lanes and everything like that going on. Really old, cool buildings, rickety buildings like that. It's, um, it's always been one of my favorite places to visit Canterbury because it's just so hickledy and pickledy and there's so many um, old bits everywhere. But there's one thing that people don't really know about Canterbury is it is actually the birthplace of America. It's the birthplace of the USA. Well, kind of tenuously actually. But um, let me go explain to you why. So as we come down, Canterbury's just got lots of like weaving little lanes and stuff, all medieval. Really, really old place. Lovely old place actually. Quirky little buildings and stuff. So here we go, this unassuming little cafe up here is the uh that's the birthplace of the united states of america see the mayflower up there isn't that cool uh let me explain why here we go look historic building 1620 the mayflower connection in 1620 robert cushman a local deacon negotiated the hire of the famous mayflower ship in this building this building here as a result of the contracts being signed here the pilgrim fathers set sail to america to become the first settlers in massachusetts usa <laughs> our eatery serves classic american and english favorite to celebrate this just saw uh, an american couple also um videoing it as well how cool is that there you go the uh birthplace of usa tenuously but if that hadn't have happened, then I think the world would be a much different place. Isn't that weird? People don't even know it's there.